everyone, Yvette here with the Corella DeVille makeup tutorial. If you are super sad like me that once upon a time is going to come back till March 1st, we could be sad together. Um, this Corella, ooh, you can see I'm wearing my t-shirt under this. <laughs> but um, I was super stoked to see the villains are back with Ursula and Maleficent and Cruella. So I had to do a makeup tutorial and yeah, I just threw on this like fur vest shawl kind of guy and then my Cruella wig which you can totally just spray paint if you want to do that and then I just recreated this makeup that Cruella wears in Once Upon a Time. So yeah if you want to see how I got this look just keep on watching. Hey everyone, so I already did one eye off camera and I'm wearing my favorite Garfield t-shirt. To begin I put on Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Eden and I apply this all over my eye with my ring finger and I make sure I get the inside of my crease. Next I take Sleek's Bad Girl palette and I take this matte black shadow and with the flat brush I apply a straight line down in the center, in the center, that is not the center girlfriend, down in the inside of my crease. I just go back and forth until I get a nice smooth line and I slowly start bringing that shadow into my crease. I just carve out my socket area and then with a clean blending brush I go back and I blend everything out. And if you hear my dog barking, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Once that's nice and blended, I go in with this satin gray and I just push this onto my lid. Next I take this nice silvery gunmetal color and I push this on top of that gray. Next I take this nice frosted white and with a flat brush I apply this on my brow bone. Then I take a clean blending brush and I blend the white into the black. And then I pick up a little bit more white to get a nice smooth transition. Next I take my Clinique gel liner and I start filling in my brows. First I do a nice curved line for the top of my eyebrow, then I do the lower part of my eyebrow. And then I just fill everything in with short strokes. With the same brush and gel liner, I go in and create my wing. She had a very straight across wing and it was pretty thin, so I try and do that and not make it too thick or make it point up too high. I go back to that matte black shadow and I apply this on my bottom lash line. Hers wasn't too stark, but I wanted to go for a smokier effect, so I'm making this a little bit thicker. Next I take Naked Liner from MAC and I apply this on my waterline. Next I take this matte cobalt blue and with an angle brush I put this on top of my gel eyeliner. This is going to help my blue eyes pop. Next I take these lashes from Red Cherry and with some tweezers I pop these on and tuck in the corners. Now that we're all done with the eyes, I'm going to move on to the face. Off camera, I wiped off any fallout and I applied moisturizer. Next, I take Almay's Clear Complexion Foundation and with a buffing brush from Real Techniques, I apply this all over my skin. This is definitely a lot lighter than my foundation, but I wanted to go for that fair skin tone that Corella has in the show. Next I take this concealer from Physicians Formula and I apply this underneath my eyes and on my forehead and then down the center of my nose. With a dual fiber brush from Real Techniques, I blend everything out. Next I take my Chanel Loose Powder and I pounce this into my skin. Instead of sweeping it back and forth, I like to push the powder into my skin. That way it doesn't move anything and it sets everything into place. Next I take my NARS Laguna Bronzer and with my Morphe Contour Brush, I start hollowing out my cheeks. She had a very strong contour so I just go back and forth to get a nice strong line. 
With a smaller brush, I put my bronzer down the sides of my nose to give me a more slimming effect. Next, I take Gingerly from MAC and I apply this onto my cheeks. I take this NARS highlight and I apply this onto my cheekbones using a fan brush. For my lips, I apply Cherry Lip Pencil from MAC and I create a nice Cupid's bow and fill in my entire lips. On top of that, I take MAC Strange Journey. This is a nice orangey red with a matte finish. And now that I'm done with the makeup, I'm just gonna pop on my accessories. And here's my finished Cruella look from Once Upon a Time. I hope you guys liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Anita, darling, or Emma Swan, darling, Rumple, darling. No. So far, it looks like she doesn't like Rumple, but. A ver qué. Ooh, a storybook, you say. Are there a lot of puppies there? Rumple still skin. I don't smell of gin and what did he say I smelled like? Doesn't matter what he said I smelled like. I don't smell like that. Rumple, seriously. Gin and desperation. Me, Cruella de Vil. Don't think so. Water. So I'm just gonna be drinking, I think like, what do you think? Like two of these a day would be enough? Sorry, I'm watching the kitty. She keeps, she keeps acting out. Hey, hey. She's being so naughty right now. Beauty, sorry, I'm looking at the cat. She's making her move again. Stop it. I'm gonna kick your butt. Kitty. What the? So I'm just waiting on the videos to finish uploading to the computer.